congratulations. That was an amazing race yesterday. Um, you were obviously the Canadian favorite. Do you think that uh, you were going to get a gold medal? Was that kind of the goal that you had in mind for the time round? Yeah, for sure. When I came down here, uh, was uh, that was my dream. Like, I mean, I know I can do it, and uh, I got some good power, but it's, it's never done uh, before uh, it's finished. And uh, yeah, yesterday I, I cannot do a better ride. Like it was the best of power and, and everything. It was like really, really good. And, uh, I'm glad I delivered uh, the win. Like everybody was expecting me to do it, but uh, I always need to do it so. until you cross the line. Yeah. And everybody else yeah. has done. So uh, I, was, I was really happy with my ride. Like a minute twenty, it's like a pretty big gap. I was not expecting that, but uh, yeah. It was a great day. And it was a very windy day. Did that affect your ride at all? Not that much. Like, I know which power I can. I need to hold and then it fit whatever the wind. Like, I, I, I just set up my power the same. So it's just a speed and bump. But, uh, like, maybe at the end, if you're tired and you crack, you can crack. But it's easier to put the higher watts when you got the, the wind. So, uh, for me, it doesn't. It was not that, that big. Uh, that's strong that to be like you know to play the bike moves on the crosswind, but that's not enough. Yeah. Right. And your teammate Sean McKinnon was a bit of a surprise coming in for the bronze medal. Um, did you guys talk about the race before, or it was just we're gonna hit it as hard as we can? No, sure I gave him a little tip uh, when we did uh, the course. Is uh, he told me that I did a uh, girl. Uh, over the past two years, so like you know, you give some tip, but like I mean, it's all come down to him. Like he, I think he had a stronger ride. He was strong. I uh, didn't know him that much, you know. He's young and like in his own. Like uh, a lot of respect to him. Like he was solid ride, uh, and uh, it's great for the future. I think he have a great future. And, uh, so, yeah. I was like, impressed about his ride. And he will be one of your teammates, there are four of you Canadians racing on Sunday. Um, have you guys had a chance to get together and talk tactics or strategies? I, I got the impression that, uh, John, that uh, you really just, as a team, met for the first time today. Yeah, for sure, no, we didn't talk uh, with the strategy, but uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, like, uh, it's going to be uh, a really hard race to control. Like, we're gonna have a lot of movement, a lot of attack from uh, a lot of country. I think the, the key player in this is uh, Mexico, Colombia. They're the fastest sprinter in the race. They just signed for the quick step. Uh, and he beats like Cavendish a couple of times at the door side of the New Zealand. Uh, and then we got Brazil. So we're gonna see how it plays, but it's small teams, like four riders, so nobody can kind of control it. Uh, so we need to be smart and be in the good move with a good number, with the good players. Uh, we got four strong guys that give us more options, and I'm sure we can uh, deliver uh, another medal there if we uh, race smart. So now uh, for sure we got the, the power to be there. And, uh, just make, just need to be smart, and I got a little bit of a chance. Uh, for the, you know. So I haven't had a chance to check. How many games have you been at? Or is this your first game? It's first years? game, first Pan Am games. Uh, I race on the Pan Am Championship, but it's not the same thing. So that yeah, first experience. Yeah. And overall, what's your experience been? Oh, it's pretty cool. Like uh, in the village, and, uh, like the atmosphere here around. Everybody's happy it's, uh, to see other sport other athletes. It's not the kind of stuff I used to do with the professional team, so it just changed and uh, I really appreciate it and try to enjoy it as much as I can. And it's a great experience and I'm glad I have a chance to, uh, to be here and uh, to have my country like at home and family around, so that's great. Yeah, I imagine after the games are over you'll head back to Europe for some more racing. Will you be back for the uh, Grand Prix at least in Quebec and Montreal? Yeah, I head up to uh, Marseille on Sunday, racing uh, Classic San Sebastian. And in Spain, in Ecuador, and then Montreal, Quebec, and then Wales. So that's, that's, that's the next thing. Uh, I don't have too much time to rest, always going from a point to another. But uh, yeah, I will uh, try to be in a big form in uh, Quebec and Montreal. Congratulations and good luck on Saturday.